Hey everyone, it's One Stop Guy. How's everyone all doing today? Hoping everybody is having a great day today. All right guys, so today we're gonna do another video on the DoorDash red card, okay? And this one right here, guys, is gonna be for 2023, all right? So I've been doing uh, the red card video since 2019. I've done another one in 2020, 21, 22. And today, guys, we're gonna do another one here on the year 2023, all right? Some people are still confused of what the DoorDash red card is. And so today, we're gonna go ahead and do another explanation of the red card um, so you guys know what it is. And before we talk about the DoorDash red card, guys, just like all, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button, okay? And tap on the notification bell. So whenever I upload any new videos, you'll be the first to be notified. All right, guys, so what is a DoorDash red card, guys? It looks exactly like this. So this right here, guys, is the DoorDash red card. It looks red. It's a debit card. It's, it has the master card logo and you use it as a credit card not a debit card okay even though it says debit and it's not your payday card and it's not for your personal use to go buy gas buy food or whatever okay it is a doordash company card you only use it when you accept an order from doordash that requires a red card which is this right here and like in all my previous doordash video explanation videos I've always tell, uh, told you guys that I hate or I dislike taking red card orders because it wastes a lot of time. You know, you gotta go look for the item and you gotta go pay for the item with this card. And the payout is sometimes worse, same, better, it all depends, but you're spending too much time to use this card. Uh, to find the item, pay for the items, and then deliver it, okay? So that's just my own opinion. If you guys like red card orders, go for it, okay? But for me, I usually don't take red card orders at all. All right, guys, so this is what the red card is, okay? So um, there are some orders, you know, that gonna pop up and it's gonna say, and it's actually gonna tell you that the red card order is required, okay? So when you get the order and then you go down a little bit to the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see it says red card require, okay? So if you guys don't wanna take the red card orders, don't take it, okay? Because now at least 99.99%, it tells you that it is a red card orders. Back then, three years ago, four years ago, when I first became a dasher, man, they tricked you. They don't even tell you if it's a red card order until you accept the order, okay? And then you either go do it or you back out. But if you back out, then your completion rate goes down, correct? So I guess a lot of dashers been complaining. So I guess now they actually let you know if it's a red card order before you accept it or not, okay? So once again, guys, red card order looks uh, red card looks like this, and you get it once you get activated with DoorDash. You either get it when you go to orientation, if you actually require to go to orientation, which I did, and they activate it on the spot for me, or if you don't go to orientation, they're gonna send you at home, okay? And then I guess you activate it yourself or whatnot, all right? But this is how it looks like. It's a company car. It's not your payday card. Payday is another card. And also, you know, you get direct deposit, you know, and stuff like that, but that's different. Or don't think it, think it as a personal card or anything like that. You cannot buy gas with it. You cannot buy food with it. You can only use this card and it only, and will only have money in there once you accept the DoorDash order that requires a red card. So this card is basically a blank card, guys. There's no money in here, okay? It only has money when there's an order that you require you to go do. Otherwise, no money. You don't, don't even try to spend or don't even try to pump gas with it. It's not gonna work, okay? Because I still have a lot of viewers still confused of why do we need a red card? You know what? My simple answer is if you if you take the red card order, just do what it says. Okay, that's it. Just go find the items, pay for the items, or deliver it. Okay. Otherwise, if it's too much of a hassle, my simple answer is decline it. Okay, that's what I do. 
Don't don't go by what I say, but that's what I do. I never ever take DoorDash orders. I've taken one or two before back in the days when I was still, you know, a rookie. I didn't know what I was doing. I, I thought I had to take every orders, but you actually don't have to take every orders, okay? Acceptance rate goes down, it's okay. There's no harm to it. So it's up to you if you wanna take the red car order or not. Um, you know, it's all your choice, right? Nobody's gonna force you to do it. But for me, guys, 99.99%, um, .99%, uh, I never, ever take the red car orders. All right, guys. So hopefully this last video here, 2023, hope you guys gonna have a great Christmas holiday and happy new year. Hope you guys understand, better understanding of the red card and red card order that goes with it. Either take it and follow the instruction or just decline it like me, all right? If you guys have any questions or comment, leave them down below. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's like somewhere here, tap on a notification bell. So whenever I upload any new videos, you'll be the first to be notified. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Happy dashing, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.